In this video, I'm going to go over how to make views of things that aren't really easy to see in the normal projected views. So here I have a, a slot that it's only about a hundredth wide. And I, if I'm zoomed out to the whole page, it's really hard to kind of see what it is. So if I delete that dimension and I go to detail, now I pick on the view. So I want to detail from this view. And I can click out and drag a circle. But before I finish that, I want to go up here. Actually, I can do that. So put that in. And right now it's going to make it 6 to 1. So that's twice the original scale. But I can go in and override that and make it even bigger. And maybe even change the identifier to A. So now I can come down here and click and place my view. If I want to move it, I can just pick on that and then move my view down so I can get more or less of the object in the, in the detail. I can also grab the little green dot here to make it bigger. So maybe bring it down, resize it a little bit, grab that A and drag it over, grab the text, bring it down a little bit there. So I can kind of get however much of the part I want in the detail. So I probably don't need all of that much. I just probably need that part of it. So I can bring that text up a little bit. And now I can easily see that dimension that, that I want. So another problem that we have, sometimes we have objects that are too big to fit effectively on the page. So here I've got a, a really long part, and I've had to put, make it a quarter scale so it'll fit on the page. Um, but I really can't see what's going on. If I zoom in, those are counterboard hole or countersunk holes. Um, it'd, be nice, it'd be nice to see that. I can't see from here. So if I go up here and I go to break, now I can pick on the view. Now I can click kind of over on one side, next to that all, come over here, take out that section. And I can go into break again, pick on it again, go from here to here, take out that section. So now I can pick on that view. Instead of making it quarter scale, let's try half scale. That's getting better. Let's make it full scale. That would be really nice to see. So if I kind of bring that over a little bit, if I grab this line, slide it a little bit. Grab that line, slide it a little bit. Slide that one. So now I can have, I've gone from a drawing where it's a quarter scale to drawing where it's a full scale pretty much. Um, so now I could easily dimension this. So if I dimension from that corner to the hole, get a nice dimension, go from hole to hole, oops, center to center would be nice. I get a dimension there. I can slide it over, grab the little break mark, go over there so they can see that that's a broken view. And I could have mention all the way to my overall. Again, slide that this way, slide the break over here. <clears throat> and so now I've got this drawing that's pretty well dimensioned, um, at least it started out, but I can see what's going on in it. I can see in the side view that it's a countersink. I can see those. I can give dimensions of it, use my whole note. I can give that dimension there. All I need is a couple more and I'm done with this, but I can actually see the part now other than having to kind of squint at just a couple of little dots. So I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next